In this video, I'll be using group policy to pin applications for Windows 11 in the taskbar. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup, about the VMI filters that I will be using in this video, and also installing policy templates for managing Windows 11 with group policy. And before creating the group policy, first we need to create an XML file that contains all the information about the applications that we want to pin to our taskbar. And here you can see an example on how the XML file should look. Basically, the most important part is here, where we have a list of applications that we want to pin to our taskbar for our clients. And to pin the applications, we need to provide application ID or we can provide the path to the executable. For example, for my Windows Terminal and Windows Explorer, I'm providing application ID, as you can see here. And for Google Chrome executable that I am also pinning to the taskbar, I'm providing the executable location. And you can modify this application list however you like. And other important part is here. Basically here I'm using a setting called pin list placement with a value replace. And this means that on the client machines, when the group policy will be applied, it will remove the currently pinned applications in the taskbar and it will replace that list with the list that we provided here. And basically this means that if you want to keep the pinned applications that are currently on your client machines, you can just remove the setting right here and instead of replacing the pins, it would append the list that we provide in here. Also, quick note, if you want to pin Windows Store applications but you don't know the ID, you can use this snippet right here to figure out the ID. For example, if I click on the button right here, it will copy the snippet, then I will go to one of my client machines that I have here, and then I will open my terminal application. You can also open just the regular PowerShell window, and then I will insert the snippet, press enter, and as you can see, it gives us an, a list of IDs that are available on this machine that you see here and the list is quite large so we can also use this snippet to search for something by typing uh, the application that we are looking for between the stars here for example if i type notepad it gives me only one value and here we can see the application id for the notepad anyways now i will go back to the github page and i will start creating the group policy and i already prepared the xml file that you see here but I have it in the file format right here, so click on it. As you can see, it's, it's the same XML file that I showed before. Then I will click on the button right here to download the XML file, and then I will go to my downloads folder. As you can see, we already have the XML file. I will right click on it, and I will copy it. Then I will go to my server that I have here. And first thing that we need to do is to place the XML file in a network share. For that I will open File Explorer, then I will go to my file server, I will use my software share that I have here, and I will place an XML file here. And one bit of important information here is that because I will be creating my policy for my domain computers, the domain computers needs to have access to this share. For example, if I go to Properties, then I go to Security, you can see that here I have Authenticated Users, with read permissions and authenticated users covers both users and computers in my domain. So both of my users and computers are able to access the share and execute files from it and also read the XML file that we have here. And also I have authenticated users with read permissions for my share permissions. And that's basically it. Now I can start creating my policy. So I'll close this window and I will go to my server manager. Then I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Windows 11 Taskbar. Then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the policy that I created and then I will right click on it and select Edit. And like I said before, because I will be creating this policy for my computers, I will go to Computer Configuration. Policies, Administrative Templates. Then I will click on Start Menu and Taskbar. And here the policy that we are looking for is Start Layout. And I will click on it. I will enable the policy. And here we need to provide the XML file location 
that we have in our share. So I'll go back to my share. I'll shift and right click on the file and then I'll click on copy as path. I will provide the path here and then I will remove the quotation marks that you can see here. So from the end and then from the beginning and I will not select a reapply layout at very log on because I want for it to apply only a single time. Then I will click apply and OK. And that's basically it for the policy. Now we can close this window. Then I will for G VMI filtering, I will select that this policy would apply only on Windows 11 computers because I have created a VMI filter for it. Then I will click yes here. I will go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to apply the taskbar. In my case, the organization unit will be this one and it holds all the computers in my domain. So to apply the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. And as you can see, here I have this Windows 11 machine and in the taskbar, I have only the applications that comes with clean Windows 11 installation. So for the policy to apply, we need to perform GP updates. So for that, I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. And here I will type GP update, press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, group policy update was successful, but we still have the same application spin to our taskbar. And that's because for the policy to fully apply, we need to sign out and sign back in. So I will sign out from my John user. Then I will sign back in. And as you can see now, instead of the default applications, we have File Explorer. Windows Terminal and also Google Chrome. And that means that our policy is working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.